Does your child snore? Does it concern you that your child snores while sleeping? If it doesn't, it should. Hi, I'm Dr. Pramla Meehan, and in this video today, I want to tell you why it's not okay for your child to snore while sleeping and what you can do to help them. Whether it's an adult or a child snoring, snoring immediately tells you that that person is working really, really hard to breathe while they're sleeping. Now remember, it's during sleep that our brain has to carry out all kinds of vital functions to help your body heal, regenerate, rejuvenate, get it ready for the next day's activities. And for children, the human growth hormone, the hormone responsible for the growth of bones and tissues, that is released while sleeping. So if your brain is diverting a ton of energy to allow you to breathe and allow to keep your airway open, that means that there's far less energy available for the brain to carry out all of its other vitally important functions. Now, if an adult doesn't sleep well, they suffer from sleep disorders that are untreated, they will usually wake up feeling tired, groggy, have difficulty concentrating, have difficulty remembering things. But for children, when a child has been sleep deprived, they're actually the exact opposite. They are wired. They're hyperactive. Quite often, actually, it is surmised that many, many children that have been diagnosed with ADHD could potentially be suffering from a sleep disorder. Now we know with adults that we can manage an obstructive airway and we can manage it with a CPAP machine or in my practice, I actually make oral appliances, so a custom fitted oral appliance that literally fits in the palm of your hand to keep your airway open, to manage that airway, to allow it to stay open while you're sleeping. For a child though, we have the opportunity to actually cure their sleep disorder. And you can cure it by seeing an ENT, an ear, nose, and throat specialist. They will determine the cause of the obstruction and discuss with you the different treatment options for that child. And if we combine that with palatal expansion, with orthodontic treatment, we literally can cure the problem for a child. Now, I have been screening for sleep disorders in adults for the past 13 years and have just learned so much about sleep. And recently I've added children's airway assessments to my practice. And truly the impact of being able to understand the dental signs and symptoms of an airway disorder has been very, very impactful for me and for my parents. I've already had many, many children being sent to an ENT specialist that are going for orthodontic treatment specifically to treat snoring and possibly a sleep disorder. Some other signs and symptoms for you could be, does your child breathe through their mouth while they're sleeping? Do they wake up with headaches? Do they toss and turn all night long? All of these could be signs that your child is having some kinds of issues with sleep and with breathing. I spoke with an ENT specialist recently and was asking her at what age does she start seeing children? And I was shocked to find out that her youngest child that she saw and treated was nine months old. So if your child snores, please don't ignore, ignore the signs. If you would like, I'd be more than happy to do an airway assessment on your child to help you understand that there's a potential risk or problem with their airway. And are there any dental signs that are indicating to us that there could be some issues for your child? Let's give our children the best chance we can to have the best normal growth and development as they grow. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to learn more about children's airway disorders.